potentially hitting free agency. Irving can opt out of the last year of his $136.5 million contract this summer, and general manager Sean Marks will want some input from Durant before making that final decision. Winfield wrote, the team is outright unwilling to give Kyrie a long-term extension because of his injury history and his decision not to get vaccinated against COVID-19. Big Perk back here with us. And Perk, I want to start with you. Do you think the Nets should offer Kyrie a long-term deal? They should. And look, let me explain to you why, right? This is a what have you done for me lately type league, okay? And when I say that is, is that we can't hold this year alone over Kyrie Irving's head because he didn't want to get the vaccination. It's a lot of players out there that didn't want to get the vaccination, okay? That 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 still haven't got the vaccination, and some of them are playing right now. We can't hold this over his head because of the rules or laws that they had in the state of New York that he couldn't that he couldn't uh, play in these games. Look, Kyrie Irving is box office. Who the hell you go give the money to? Patty Mills, Goran Dragic? You better give it to Kyrie Irving. Now, I would say this. If I give it to him, it's going to be some contract clause in there. He has to play a certain amount of games. You know, I got to hold him accountable to show up to work. But here's the thing that the Brooklyn Nets have in their favor. Kyrie Irving doesn't have a leg to stand on when it comes down to him actually debating or, or, or disagreeing or arguing for as how his contract could be constructed. Now, he could give a little pushback here and there, but at, at the end of the day, I feel like the organization has the upper hand, and I feel like they should offer him a long-term deal. Who else they're going to give the money to? Kenji Perkins, um, <clears throat> you're not wrong, but I'm going to hold your feet to the fire on this in a very, very fun way. I want you to imagine for a second we, are in, we ain't on television. I want you to imagine for a second we had one of your barbecues no, in your backyard. No. In no. your backyard. In your backyard. No, See, you don't want that. that. <laughs> you don't want that. Because you know where I'm going. Because you know where I'm going, right? See, this, this, is, why, this is what is funny about it, Molly. He laughing because he know where I'm about to go, okay? So we not on television. We at the barbecue. It could be at your crib. It could be at my crib. Because, by the way, when I have one this summer, you invited, my brother. You invited. I got nothing but love for you. And I have plenty of food for you, all right? <laughs> Let me ask you a question, Kendrick Perkins. Uh, my uh, if you the owner of the Brooklyn Nets and you got to invest long-term dollars in Kyrie Irving, you giving him a deal that's guaranteed more than one year at a time? I am, Stephen A. I am. Okay. Who okay. else I'm going to give now, it to? Let me, let me explain something to you right now. There's no way in hell you can do that. If you're running a business, you cannot invest long-term with, Ky with, with Kyrie Irving in terms of guarantees. I have no problem, and I've been on the record. There's two sides. You can flip the side. You can, you can switch it any way you want to. What I'm saying is this. Kyrie Irving is not good. He's not just great. He's spectacular. This brother, to me, is somebody you walk through the turnstiles to see. I got no problem if somebody said to me right now, I'm giving Kyrie Irving $50 million a year. I don't blink, Kendrick Perkins, until they tell me it's more often than one year at a time. I literally believe the contract should be non-guaranteed or a better way of saying it is an opt-out after a team opt-out after every single year. The problem with Kyrie Irving is one thing and one thing only. He don't want to show up to work until he wants to show up to work. Now, Kendrick Perkins, you're going to laugh about this because you know it's true. Kyrie is the type of person, I want to crystallize this for America to understand what y'all understand this. Kyrie Irving works hard. Kyrie Irving's not going to cheat you with effort. Kyrie Irving's not going to cheat you when it comes to working out off the court. He's going to put in his work. He's going to make sure his game is polished. He's going to be ready. Except Kyrie the kind of person if game is 7.30, why can't it be 6? Practice at 10 a.m. Why can't it be one? <laughs> we got to show up to this team meeting at 3 o'clock. Why can't I show up at 5? He wants to do what he wants to do when he wants to do it. And Kendrick Perkins, myself, or anybody else that challenges him on that theory, you see, we're peons. See, his 
intellect is so far beneath anything that we could possibly comprehend that we just can't, we just can't uh, grasp where he's coming from. You know, so, so, so he'll, he's literally one of those dudes that would text you, Kendrick Perkins, and says, what's up, King? And end the sentence by calling you a peon. He all over the place. Thanks for watching ESPN on YouTube. For live streaming sports and premium content, subscribe to ESPN+. Plus.